Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by steps on how to change NVMe M.2 SSD drive. So if you're running low in your storage capacity and if you need to increase more space, then in this video, I'll walk you through how to change the solid state drive, all right? So this is the Dell Vostro. And if you're not sure what model this is, you can turn it around look at the back of your desktop it would say Vostro 3681 this is the slim version which is the tiny version of it and also you can double check the model it says here which is the Dell D15S all right so there are a couple of things that you need to have before you can start uh, you know follow along the video is to purchase yourself the um, m.2 solid state drive this is the nvme pcie all right so there are two different solid state drive uh, this is the sata this is the sata m.2 ssd drive as you can see there are two holes in there and this is the pcie which is only one hole in it so this desktop here runs on one hole okay and of course this is an option which is the usb adapter allows you to transfer the data from your old hard drive to the new hard drive if you want to do that okay but if you just want to fresh install then you just need to have the uh, the uh, nvme solid state drive and also the windows installation usb Okay, so what I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. Everything that you need for this process, I'll link it down below. Uh, you can directly to go to Amazon or eBay and you can purchase the tools and you know follow along the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We are going to remove the two screws here. This is the side panel. The screw does not come off as long as it's loose like that you can ready to slide that side panel to your left so slide it out that direction and here you can take a look at your desktop it's pretty straightforward here this is the cpu fan this is the pcie for your extra graphics card if you need one and this is your power supply all right the first thing i like to do is to remove the front panel let's go ahead and make sure that these three little clipper top middle bottom slide it out and then the front cover will just pop right out okay so once you have done that process the next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and start removing some of the screw there's one screw right here in the front remove that and there's one here at the bottom more screws so what it is is this is the um, bracket so this bracket allows you to add additional hard drive you can add for example the 2.5 inch solid state drive okay probably you would have to mount it like so or you can add the regular full size the 3.5 inch okay let's put that on the side and here would be the slot for your DVD drive so this computer does not come with the DVD drive or the CD drive you have to buy it separately but this is the cable for that and then for this one you just need to lift it straight up and then the whole bracket will just come right off all right here you can see that the m.2 solid state drive is installed they are giving you the shorter version of it which is this one here remove that screw lift it up at 45 degree angle and slide it down towards your body 
it's going to be a little bit sticky because this is the thermal pad this one here conducts the heat from your solid state drive so the thermal pad make the thing sticky you may have to wiggle a little bit and slide it out and this is the screw you want to move it downwards to here and screw it back in all right so you can do the full size m.2 ssd drive once you install the full size ssd get the screws back in and you should be able to do the rest of the trick by installing the optical drive you need to slide it in first so there's a little gap here so slide it in from the front and then close it down and the remaining of the screw that we removed earlier okay like so all right so um i hope this video is helpful again because you install the new hard drive that does not mean that you have the windows ready to go this new hard drive here does not come with windows it's just a blank and in other words you do need to install a windows okay now earlier in the video i did mention to you that if you're going to do a fresh install you can just you know get yourself a usb windows installer so this here is the windows 10 if you want to save some money you don't have to buy uh, this one this usb installer okay what you can do is you can go to microsoft website website directly and just google look it up uh, microsoft uh, windows 10 you know oem installer downloads or something like that so they'll walk you through you can create a usb bootable uh, for your windows and then once you install the the new m.2 drive right once you install that then install the uh, the windows by the, the thing that you created or you can just buy one anyway um that is the video for you on a separate note earlier i did mention something about this the usb adapter what it does is if you want to clone meaning that um, i did make a separate video that showing you how to clone the m.2 from original m.2 to the new m.2 so what it means is when you do a cloning process you're pretty much making identical from the old computer um, the, the the old m.2 to the new m.2 ssd right so what that means is all your windows your data your settings your program everything would clone it over to the new drive if you're interested with that video i make a separate uh just a dedicated video for that uh, check out in the link down description below okay um you, you do need to have some tools you do need to have uh, a chronos software for you to do that so uh, check that out without a Cronus, that third party cloning software you're not able to do it so you kind of give and take if you want a fresh install uh, by doing that but if you want to clone it then by all means uh, go ahead and check out that video and i'll show you how to clone it all right um, other than that i think it's pretty much it and if you're interested something else a separate video on how to upgrade the ram i'll probably do that or maybe upgrade or add additional hard drive as a secondary storage space I'll, I'll, I'll make a separate video for that um, I'll try to make a separate video for that all right um, other than that I think this is pretty much it and um, if you find this video is helpful please uh, comment below let me know if you are able to follow along the video and uh, do not forget to smash the like button all right and hit the notification bell that would remind you um, if i do update new videos uh, regarding about this model here um, if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe i really appreciate you for subscribing it um, yeah so other than that i think that's pretty much it this is the cpu the ram 
um, the power supply, the motherboard, um, Wi-Fi card, and the M.2 SSD drive. Alright, so thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.